Hey everybody, it's Mike from AMZ Advisors. And today I have with me Isaac Smith and Jason Snyder from Summit E-Commerce Advisors. When a lot of people think of bookkeeping, they don't really understand why it's important. I mean, they see they have cash in the bank account, they, they have cash coming in, they have cash going out, but as long as that cash balance is still positive, that's what's important, right? So mm-hmm. why is bookkeeping important in e-commerce and why do these sellers need bookkeeping? Essentially the problem is, you, you grow your business. Most people get into this business, not because they come from a business background or they're trained in accounting or anything like that. Most, most of us get into this because we want some sort of freedom in our lives. We see, ah, e-commerce, Amazon, this is going to be the solution. And you start, you, you start your research product, you find a product to sell, you list it, you start selling it. Um, and that's great. That's really, really good. And, but then as those numbers get bigger, the sales numbers get bigger, the, you know, your, your inventory purchases numbers get bigger, they get more regular, you start to have this lump of cash going out, and then later cash coming in, another lump of cash going out, but this time is twice as much because you're t- selling twice as much. So there comes, to, there comes a point at which most people get rightfully confused about what's going on and and the the so that's that's one thing but also when people it comes tax time like everybody has this experience oh no taxes are coming out i gotta get this stuff in order most people think of bookkeeping as just for the tax man but we're here to say that it's actually not for taxes that's not its primary purpose the primary purpose of having your numbers, knowing your numbers, is so that you can make better decisions, decisions that grow your business. So, I mean, just one example, I don't want to get too far into the weeds right this second, we'll get into it later. But for example, if you have 10 SKUs that you're selling, and one of the, you know, one of them, your the volume sales, the sales volume is very high, but your margin is tight, you know, maybe you're not making a lot of money. Maybe you're breaking even on that. Maybe there's another item that you're not selling so much of uh, in terms of volume, but the margin is much higher. If you don't know these things, um, you're going to keep just staying on that hamster wheel, just continuing to do the same thing when just a simple decision of we should focus less on this item and more on the other item and our business would dramatically improve. Um, so there are a lot of other little examples like that, but that's really the purpose of your bookkeeping and having good accounting. So really it's having financial clarity so that you can know what's going on in your business and make better decisions. Okay. Right. And, and to add on to that, it's, it's a, it's you're looking back, and seeing what was I doing? How was the business doing? What's, what, you know, I was doing this activity, we added this line, we added this product, and you're able to tie together the activity that you've done as a business to your financial see what the results are. It's not a, it's not a binary, but it's, it gives you a really good review of where things are. Accounting is a look back of what you've done, so you can make projections going forward and estimates going forward. And, Without that, as clear books as possible, you're going to have, it's going to be more and more fuzzy. The more behind you are, the more fuzzy it's going to be. It's, yeah. you know, and, and I'll add one more thing to it. And this just came up with a, a client in another niche in industry, uh, but they have, uh, they're in the process of selling their business. And they thought, well, yeah, they've got a small loss because of COVID and things, you know, business down a little bit. Uh, but come to find out, after some research and looking through the books, they weren't reporting payroll expenses properly. And they're looking right now at $150,000 loss versus $20,000 because it wasn't reported properly. And it was because it was all, uh, they were waiting to the end of the year to have their CPA reconcile everything. And that's pretty much going to shoot a hole through them being able to sell the business this year. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate both of you coming on the show and really opening up on your knowledge of this topic. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. 
Thank you guys. Have a great day.